Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today I have for you Persona 4 Golden. We're going to be exploring Kanji's dungeon here, and we're not going to go all the way, because I don't want to give any kind of spoilers too much, as that would ruin the Persona 4 Golden experience. However, I talk a lot about Persona, and I don't, I don't have any videos That's of it up. That's a strong enemy! Don't get hurt! Oh. So we're going to use this, because this Count works, and Persona! it's pretty damn good. Not Someone else's turn. It's over. This is it's highly considered the this. best Persona <laughs> game, and quite possibly one of the best hit. JRPGs Let's go, partner. in general. All right. Here you see, we're beating up some trees. Chan's in danger. Heal her. You might be able to hear a dog in the background. Sorry about that. Chan's really hurting. Heal her. I'm in your hands. As you can see, what I just did there is Yukiko was moving. It's because uh, just when you get one your enemy left. For some of three and four, for some of three you can't turn it off. For some of four you can. When you get a new character in Persona 4, really they will hurting. act automatically her, in the battle. And that is determined it's by whatever down. the AI thinks is best at the current we time. However, you should pretty much just turn it off immediately because it will only cause you strife and harm. Persona 3 is a great example of why. There is a character in Persona 3 that uses a move called Marin Karin. Now, Marin Karin is a charm spell, which is pretty good. I mean, when it hits, it charms the opponent for about three to five, uh, two to three turns, and they will attack their own teammates and do other various things that will help you, maybe heal you. However, Marin Karin has a hit rate of like 20%, so there's really no point in ever using it, or ever having the character with it in your party because it, it only hurts you. Dear God, does it only hurt you. The amount of times that I have had a party wipe because Marn Karin was spammed at in inappropriately. Like... <sighs> Alright. Enough about Persona 3 and Marn Karin. Back to, back to four golden. And I have to stress that this is four golden and not Persona Four, though there is not much difference right now. This is early game, so not too much has has actually happened in terms of uh, game differences. It's just some voice variations and a few other minor things so far, such as outfits. As you'll see, I believe Yukiko still has um, some gag glasses on. Take a look here. No, she doesn't. Nobody has gag glasses on. A oh, rare I... monster! Beat the stuffing oh, well, out of it! They, they are a thing that I can use. Hang in there! However, outfits don't really net you anything in terms of value, and I'd rather just use the default. There's a lot of status ailments, like panic there, and I was talking about charm or all that. Status ailments are actually pretty annoying in these games, so they aren't something that you can just straight up ignore, like in most JRPGs. I mean, even in Pokemon, you can pretty much ignore everything, and just kind of hope that you get good RNG. And Pokemon is a game where status effects really shine. At least in competitive. Two more enemies. Or even in the you base game, to be completely honest. Here, this is another good example of a game where status effects. They almost... They almost hurt you more than it is beneficial to use them. Because they rely on... They rely on... They require a lot of SP. Or magic points. And on the right there, you can see our characters have two, two bars. Left. The top bar. Their HP. 
Persona. when they use physical spells, like... That's some thick skin! Uh, shit, Mavity. It's over! So, like, Skullcracker, which I believe she Couldn't might have by it. now. Yeah. That is a physical spell. So, that will take Couldn't away HP to use. Just like how a magic spell takes Yosuke's away. Yosuke's hurt! Someone do something! Yosuke there died. Because I'm horribly underleveled for this area and I didn't like train before I went in here, which I really should have. But, my failures aside, it's over. we do get pretty far. We just have to survive the escape. Which isn't too bad. This will be a much shorter video than yesterday's video. GA Chan's hurt! Someone help her! When I'm recording this yesterday's video. The Trails of Cold Steel video. Which I didn't intend to be so long, and I'm also sorry about the audio in that. There was a editing error that I made. And by the time I realized it, it was already uploaded and it took like so goddamn long to export it and do it overnight. Oh, Chie Chan, that was beautiful! So, the damage is done, but I'm still pretty happy with how the video came out, even if I was a little bit quiet. This one is a little bit more of me just kind of showcasing the combat in the War, as this is half the game, is the combat, and it can get a little bit tedious when you have to do some grinding. No one stands in Sensei's way! That is a typical JRPG problem, and you can't really fault Persona 4 or any Persona games necessarily for using it. Someone! As almost every JRPG has some amount of grinding involved. Aside from the grindy aspect, the combat here is pretty fun. If you enemies have different weaknesses and so do your heroes. If you hit an enemy's weakness, that. if you hit an enemy's weakness, they will go down. And what that means is until their next turn, they will basically be a little bit more susceptible. Or susceptible? Susceptible. Sorry, I'm, I'm retarded. They'll be more susceptible Get some to attacks. What it also does is if you can manage to down the entire enemy team, you'll get something called an all-out attack. And that is when your entire team rushes in and deals a massive amount of damage. It is at no cost to you, and it is highly beneficial. So, in fact, it usually ends up with you just winning the fight, unless the opponent is quite strong. There is no downside to an alt-out attack, so it is best to go for enemies' weaknesses as often as you can. And you don't know the weaknesses right away, you have to discover them as you play. Which results in dungeon dives like this, where by the end of it we will be lacking in SP. This one's really strong! These guys, for example, are weak to Garu. So, That's it, Yosuke. we just kind of double up on the wind magic. Persona. It's down. They're both down. Should we Good answer. Pieces a little line. Oh, so, okay. Rush and deal a lot of damage. <laughs> Yukiko is going to miss, one because enemy left. why not? <laughs> It's tough. still manages to do damage Help! to us. Someone! I'm a little bit triggered. Instead of just attacking, I decided to use guard. That was easy. Good job, Yosuke. That makes up for your death earlier. Both in the convenient timing. And the fact that you won that corner. As you can see, we should all be level 15, or even 17 going in here, but we're like level 12, so we're gonna we're gonna suffer a little bit in some of these early fights. No, 
That's a strong enemy. Don't get hurt. That's it, Yosuke. One enemy down. It's down. Let's go, partner. Okay. Look at that, Yosuke. Because of your effort. The last time I'm not taking the risks. Yeah. There's no end to this. This is, of course, actually a Scooby Doo game. I should have mentioned that from the beginning. Um, it's a murder mystery. And these four strapping kids decide to take it out and give their go at it. They end up in a TV. That's where we are now. Inside of a TV. It seems strong, you can believe it. but I'm sure you'll win. I don't really want to give away that too much cool, of the plot. But if you haven't experienced Persona 4 and you like mystery and you like amazing JRPGs even if you know who the killer is this game is still enjoyable to go back to. This is definitely a game to pick up. I couldn't it's do definitely it. a game you wanna you wanna take a look at. You don't need to necessarily play any of the other games to know what's going on. Good work, it's Sensei. That's separate thing. One so far. It's great. Come on! Awesome! Go, go! This game is rampant. almost everything a JRPG should be. I might make another video later, just doing some basic daily life stuff, as that is another segment of this game. Just kind of give a showcase of what that's like. As that is just as large an aspect to this game as the combat is, and as the dungeon crawling is. Got a fake treasure box there. No problem for Yosuke. His speed enemy. is quite high, Don't so get hurt. he's gonna hurt pretty much any time. Which is That's nice. It, Yosuke. Well, Yosuke, down. Down. Yosuke is a very... Almost every character in this game is quite viable. It's down. Yosuke is somebody that you almost always want to have. Let's go, partner. Okay. He's level. Because he's very versatile in his moves. He has healing spells, he has buff spells, he has debuffs, he has wind magic. He's a character you absolutely want to have on your team for a good while. And it's beneficial because he's the first party member you also get. So, it works out. Your first couple party members are pretty basic. But that's okay. They don't need to be anything special. As far as the combat goes, you get more characters later on. I think I get the hints of what's going on here. Even if you guys at home don't. It's okay, Kanji's not gay. He's just confused. It seems strong, but I'm sure you'll win. We're fighting a leather clad Hulk Hogan over here. With pink hair. Or pink mustache. And that is it's honestly. Over. That's pretty amazing, man. I couldn't do it. I, I feel like I am inside fight, fight, of a Steven commercial. You know, because I'm inside of a TV. That was a pretty tiered joke, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe a bit of a rush. She is down. That is unfortunate. Go! 
Teammates, if they are down, they come back when you go back to, or when you leave combat, as they have to kind of follow you around there, but only on one HP. So, healing, of course, is quite a important thing to do, but it is also quite a balanced thing to do. Is you cannot just go through an entire dungeon. Uh, typical, I mean, you can, I guess, on, on difficulties like this, but it's usually pretty hard to go through an entire dungeon using just uh, healing spells, as they take up a lot of SP over strong, time. But I'm sure you'll win. And what you saw there is the enemy got us from behind, because I was a little bit bad and I messed it up. Enemy so reinforcements. Hurry and beat they get them. to move first. Counting on you. Persona! Yosuke scared! It's over! It's over! I couldn't do it! Three enemies! Let's get through this! Soda. Trying to kill the Phantom Master there because, well, anybody that Yosuke's looks like scared. that cannot be good news, you know what I'm saying? Come on! Unlucky. Yosuke is inflicted with fear, so he will sometimes just not move. I couldn't do it. Three enemies left. Great, Sensei. Go for broke. Here, here, trying to get all these kills up. Woohoo, Chan! That's one. That's it. Ha. Oh, you no that was lovely! He has an instant kill spell. Instant there. kill spells are quite annoying. I'll be completely One enemy. honest with you. Fight, fight, fight. Great. Especially considering when Chad Chad's in here, where the main character, Yu Narukami, or Sota Soji, when he dies, when Hero dies, it's game over. Doesn't matter if everybody else is still up. Which is good and it's bad. Because that means that with abilities that your teammates can get later, where they jump in front of hits for you, pretty much, you can you can stay alive and you can keep your whole party alive just by using items and healing spells and surviving. It's a bit laggy there, but that's what it looks like when you get the player advantage and you move first. It seems strong, you strike them from but I'm sure you'll win. Similar to how Trails of Gold Steel it's does it. To ice. Don't However, worry, in Trails of Gold Steel, you still have to run into them here as soon as the slice is made. As soon as the contact is made, you move the sword. It is instant combat. Four enemies left! Throw down! Persona! That's it, Yosuke! One enemy Personally, down! Personally, out of the two systems. That's some thick skin. I would say I have to like trails the cold steels more. However, Persona 5 kind of perfects it. It's weak to um, it perfects the Persona 4 style. So Persona 5 is has the best style of similar to this. I can't defeat it! Where you can get back attacks. Protect me, Kamoe! However, Trails of Cold Steel is probably a little bit better than this, because you can more reliably get back attacks, even though I did poorly in my video of it, it is a more reliable way of getting back attacks consistently. Here you kind of have to wait until they turn around and then hope you sneak up on them. Shuffle time is 
a way that you get new personas. You get things like the Emperor here, where it just levels up your personas. Or you can get other various items and things. Shuffle time only shows up when you down enemies. So there's even more benefits to downing enemies than just getting extra damage in. Truly, this game tries to take it to the next level and really wants you to experience everything that's going on. They want you to down enemies, they want you to think tactically, and they want you to do your best throughout the combat, and they support that. However, they also will punish you for screwing it up. There is a risk, there's a reward. Uh-oh! This one's really strong! When enemies are red like that, on the... in the dungeon, that means they're higher levels than you are. Which means it can be a good thing to avoid them if you are still pretty low level or not very confident that you can take on whatever the high level opponent in that area is at the time. However, they also give you more XP and better better items. So, again, there's risk going into it, but there's also reward if you manage to get it. Get it off. Get it off. Huh? <laughs> Watch me! It was good to be special move here, because I have a high support with them. Hit. Let's go, partner! Okay! So they occasionally jump in and down that hit for Which is beneficial, because it sets up all of attacks. It's a random en enemy that they attack, one that is not down. But that can be good and that can be bad, as means that you won't be able to down the other enemies right away. And if you don't down all the enemies at once, if they're not all down at the same time, then you won't get them all at the time. treasure, looking for more loot, and that's partially why we came in here. Because that's a in this game, enemy. you're quite poor. Don't get hurt. Turns out high schoolers don't have a lot of money right away. In fact, they're pretty damn broke. So your first couple runs, for your first run, you'll probably be quite broke. Your second run, if you decided to new game plus where the money carries over, as do many other things. Then you'll be a little bit less broke, but you'll still not have a ton of money. By your third or fourth run, you'll be probably swimming them left and right. Which is exactly what you want. You want to be swimming because let's be honest. Great Money work. makes the world go around. Long loading screens here because why not? It's a pretty old game. Another daddy there. Couldn't get the back attack on him, but that's alright. We still struck first somehow. Uh oh! This one's really strong! Unfortunately, they have higher speed than us, so. He gets me first. Two enemies! Charge through them! Teddy there is kind of like a support. So he'll kind of... That's kind of like the canonical way that they keep track of weaknesses and such. Damn, it's not going down! You can analyze the enemy, just like I did there. And 
If the enemy is weak to something, Teddy will yell it out. Unfortunately, Teddy's kind of annoying, so I try and shut him up. Because nobody wants to hear Teddy go and make the noise that he just made. That's one. Of the major differences between Persona 4 Gold and Persona 4, the one that is most obvious to me, aside from the bonus content at the end of the game, is the voice change that they had for Chie and for Teddy. And I must be completely honest, I'm not a huge fan of the new Chie or the new Teddy voices. And maybe that's just my bias, as I liked the Persona 4, the base Persona 4 voices, but... Relax. They're not for me. Gold and chest there, you gotta use key, but gives you better items. As you can imagine. There are various ways to acquire keys, but most notably, and the one that we'll be using the most, is shuffle time. See what's behind the secret door that Teddy is referring to there. Don't get discouraged. This enemy's weak to wind skills. Five enemies left. Get a guard there and just have no scale behavior because she can. Persona. I believe the power of Yosuke. That's it, Yosuke. That should be it. What enemy down? Yosuke -kun? Persona. His pro energy has no limit. Knows no bounds. That's it, Yosuke. What enemy down? He takes one for the team all the time. That's it, Yosuke. Wow, what Yosuke enemy down? Persona. He is the person that everybody wishes they were the friends with. You're doing with. great, Yosuke. Yeah, Let's keep be honest. Going. Persona. If you don't like Yosuke, you're lying to yourself and you're lying to me. It's down. Good answer. Look at him. Look how happy he was there. He was like, yeah, man, I just knocked them all down and we're going to just slaughter them. There. And he, he was so happy it. about it. One enemy! Fight! 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 Come on! Take it! Truly somebody you should look up to. So who's next in line for a stomping? Who next indeed? Well, as it turns out, really nobody. That's all the time I have for you guys today. As this little thought's gonna end here. I know, it's unfortunate. I hope you guys enjoyed this, though. A little sneak peek into Persona 4 Golden. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this with anybody uh, that you think might be interested in it. And I thank you for watching.